Okay, we're on round number three. I'm really surprised that number one, my control vent, uh, control mold is actually held up. Um, and maybe this will be the last go around for this mold. Come on, baby. Ah, shit. These gloves make it hard to do these things quickly. Oh man, that's the nicest one yet. And that's on the first one. I hope you can see that. I need to take it out before it burns the crap out of the other half. Ah. Yeah, it, it, I left it in there too long and it burnt the, sh burnt the crap out of the one half. Actually, this half of the mold is excellent. This half here has got the striations, the horizontal striations, so that's the last of it. It has given up the ghost. Come on, baby. Here's what I'm talking about. Can you can you see the the poor finish on one half and the nice finish on the other half? This is the nice finish that I thought the rest of the bullet was going to look like, but no. If I can get them get both sides to look like this, I'll be one happy camper boy. I may be gonna, I might crack these ex accidentally by clamping them so hard, but I don't, I wanna mitigate as much of that seam as I can. Yeah, that's a good one. Both sides are good. Come on, baby. Number two. I'm deliberately taking my time with these so you can see what procedure I'm using. Damn it, I forget to put my glove on. Come on, baby, come out of there. Yeah, slight pucker. That's a usable bullet. I got some flashing on the bottom. Ah, shit! But I can, I can still use that. That's a good usable bullet. And I'm saying that reservedly because I have yet to measure the dimensions of it. Uh, I'm just going by the finish of the surface of the bullets and the complete fill out of the bullets. If I put my calipers on there and find that they're out of dimension by any any great stretch. I can simply go back to my CAD software and compensate for those dimensions. This is number four mold. The one with three additional scoops of porcelain. Ah, yeah. Nice. That's a good usable bullet, assuming that it's to the correct dimensions. I keep putting them in the wrong bucket too. I'll be back once I clean this up and get ready for cast number four. I gotta for I forget to take those off and if I leave them in there too long, it creates a burn along the top edge of this. Okay, I wanted to show you uh, another bunch of close-ups after the, what is this, the fourth go around. So I'm going on number, number five next time. I, Mold number one is giving up the ghost. Uh, it's no longer usable, but I wanted to point out something to you that I tried to explain before or describe. See these? See this half of the mold, how the striations are going this way? And yet that same mold is like the other half is pristine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm starting to notice the same effect on uh, the other molds. One of them will show a little more burn than the other one. Although the surface is still excellent and the cavities and the rest of the mold is in still excellent condition, one half of the mold seems to be uh, taking the brunt of the initial heat or temperature shock and uh, the other half seems none the worse for wear. Here's, that was, this is number three. 
and uh, this is number four. It too is showing uh, good signs of of uh, resistance to the heat and no signs of uh, damage other than the slight browning you see around the edges. And uh, after looking at them and trying to figure out what the hell is causing this, uh, I did notice one difference is, and that is that it's in the lids. Notice that I made the hole on this one a little bit bigger than the hole on this one and the hole on this one. Okay, actually number three has the smallest through hole. It's number three that's not showing any signs of, of damage or at least not as many as the other two. So perhaps it's the size of the hole it's allowing it to drip down the center and the bigger hole is maybe allowing the, the molten lead to hit off to the side before it hits the entire mold equally. I just thought I'd mention that. If any of you have any idea what might be causing it, maybe you can uh, chime in and offer up some su suggestions.